After penicillin, streptomycin, science's latest weapon against some forms of tuberculosis. These are the final stages of preparation of the wonder drug. In the air-conditioned filling rooms of a Greenford Middlesex laboratory, operators wear face shields, gowns, headdress and surgical gloves to ensure that vials are sterile as they leave on their life-giving mission. Streptomycin, isolated in America after the discovery of penicillin had paved the way, is obtained from a mold grown on a fermented broth. Streptomycin is a white powder like coarse salt. In cases of tubercular meningitis, particularly among children, the drug has already saved lives which would have been doomed before its production began. Today, streptomycin production has been given high priority but its manufacture is a slow and costly process. Yet penicillin, its parent, now costs less than four shillings a dose, where it first cost four pounds. And when lives are at stake, we do not count that kind of cost. Against the white death, there is yet no certain cure, but streptomycin marks one more milestone along the road to eventual conquest.